Hey guys, it's Nintendo Game Lover here, and today I am going to teach you how to put homebrew on your Wii. This is technically just hacking your Wii, so um, if you watch my Wii-Fi tutorial, then this exploit that I'm about to show you guys is very similar to that. So first of all, you're going to want to press Wii Options, after that go to Wii Settings, And then go to the second page and press internet. Then press connection settings. Choose whatever connection you're using. It really doesn't matter. Connection 1, 2 or 3. And then you're supposed to change the settings. Just a quick heads up. There's going to be some personal info at this part. So, I will see you guys at the next part of the tutorial. Alright guys, so once you've done that, you're going to want to go to auto obtain DNS over here after you've pressed the plus button three times. Make sure that it is auto obtain DNS and not auto obtain IP address, because auto obtain IP address and auto obtain DNS both kind of look the same. So try and not go to auto obtain IP address by accident. Make sure that it is auto obtain DNS. So change this to no. And then go on to advanced settings. Now put in the following DNSs in. The primary DNS needs to be this 97.74.103.14. So that's the primary DNS. And the secondary DNS, I've already got some of it down. It's 173.201.71.14. Alright, so pause the video here to get the primary DNS and secondary DNS down. Once you've done that, press confirm. And then save it. Then it's going to do a connection test. This could take quite a while, so you're going to want to hope that this passes. You're going to want to pray upon all mercy that this passes. So, you just got to wait. And if it passes, carry on with the tutorial. And if it doesn't pass, then you might want to try and configure your internet settings because something might not be right. Or try deleting your internet settings and then making them again, if you know what I mean, like clear settings. Like, try doing that if it doesn't pass. But hopefully it should pass. So, you should just wait here on the testing connection screen, and then it should hopefully pass. So we just have to wait for it. So I'm going to pause the video here while we wait for it to connect. Alright guys, so the connection test was successful. It will then ask you if you want to perform a Wii system update. Ignore the Wii support code. The Wii support code is just, that has nothing to do with what we're doing. So on the Wii system update, just press no because there's no point in doing a Wii update since pretty much every Wii version is already at the latest firmware. So, now you should just go to agreement slash contact after pressing back twice. Then it'll ask you if you want to use the Wii Shop and Wii Connect. Press yes to this, even though the Wii Shop and that doesn't even exist anymore. I mean, you can use ReConnect24, but you know, Wii Shop doesn't exist anymore. So, just go on to next. Again, it's going to connect to the internet. You're probably going to have to get used to it at this point. And bam! Since we put that DNS on, it's going to show a different... Uh, it's going to show a little different agreement than usual. It's going to have a little 8-bit rainbow dash up there in the corner for whatever reason. And it will tell you to wait one to two minutes, just like the Wii-Fi one. 
I recommend that you do not use a Wii Remote Plus. Wii Remote Plus is of a Wii Remote with Motion Plus built in. Do not use Motion Plus. Because, for some reason, Motion Plus doesn't work well with Homebrew. Homebrew does not like Motion Plus for whatever reason. And it causes the Wii to freeze, or like the Wii Remote to stop responding and that. Do not accept it. And by do not accept it, I mean just wait at the screen. Don't click I don't accept. Just wait here at the screen for one to two minutes. So, I'll see you guys once it's done with that. Alright guys, so once you've waited one to two minutes, you should, get, you should get this code in on the screen. This is completely normal, just like the WeamFi one. Um, you've not done anything wrong if this coding comes up. It'll just come up with, you know, this stuff. And just wait for it to download the payload. Static can come up on the screen. Just ignore that because that's normal. Then it'll come up with this warning screen. Have a read of this. Even though you probably haven't been scammed or anything like that. Because this is how we're actually going to download Homebrew now. Because we have accessed the Hack Me installer. Because this is what this is called. So the software must not be sold neither alone nor as part of a bundle. If you paid for this software or received it as part of a bundle following payment, you've been scammed and should demand your money back immediately. So just press 1 to continue. And this... Voila, everyone, is the Hack Me Installer itself. This is how you are going to install the Homebrew channel on your Wii. Just press continue. Install the Homebrew channel. Press yes. And then it's just going to download the Homebrew channel onto your Wii now. And there we go, it should be successful. Also, you can install Boot Me. I recommend you do this. So, I, luckily, I have an SD card in my Wii. You don't need an SD card to support to download Homebrew, but you do need an SD card to download Boot Me. So, we've just downloaded Boot Me. There, you don't have to do this. This is optional, Boot Me. But I just recommend you do it. So, once you've done that, just exit. So it should just exit now. It could take a while, but there we go. Since it exited, voila! It took us straight to the Homebrew channel. So when you probably download the Homebrew channel for the first time, there won't be any apps on there, obviously because you haven't downloaded that. So I will show you how to download homebrew apps in the next part of this tutorial. Alright guys, so now I'm going to teach you how you can download homebrew apps. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to download the homebrew browser because that's how you can find all the homebrew apps you want because you know you can't have a hacked Wii without homebrew apps, can you? So what we're going to want to do here is just search up WeeBrew in the URL bar and whatnot, and then it should just come up with. Um, actually, no, just search Homebrew Browser and then it'll come up with like a, a WeeBrew page for it. So search for Homebrew Browser in there and then it'll come up with this page. Click on it, and then there's going to be some download links here for OSC. That's the Open Shop channel. There's the old version of the Homebrew Browser, but if you want the latest release of the Homebrew Browser, download the Open Shop Channel version. I'm not going to download it, I'm going to leave that for you to do, because I've already got the Open Shop Channel version. So, anyway guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.